once again, thank you guys for watching this video. And if you like what you see, hit subscribe, like, leave a comment. There's going to be more stuff coming out like this. But before we get into the fishing, I'm just going to give you a little bit of my notes I took on this weekend. I'm not going to tell you the exact location we were fishing, just because there's other people who have been hunting spots like we were and we were grinding for a couple days before we found this. So I'm not going to give it away. If you know where this is, great. We had great luck there. Memorial Day weekend. This is pre-spawn to just starting to spawn. The water temperature was about 58 degrees on some days to like 60 degrees. A little bit of variation depending on what depth we were at. We were fishing um, anywhere from 12 feet to about 6 feet depth of water. And uh, we were essentially only targeting smallmouth bass. We weren't really going after largemouth. We weren't really going for pike. This is pike spawn right now. So I did wind up catching one this weekend, but it wasn't the intention. But so basically what we were doing is we were setting up a long drift. We would go from one end to the other. And we were fishing these rocky boulder fields that were like kind of into shoreline, but let off into some deeper water so generally the small mouth are sitting in that deeper water and they're coming up into these and they're feeding and stuff like this and we were catching fish all day long we would catch in the morning afternoon after lunch and then right after dinner too and the clips that you guys are going to see are from after dinner the one night i completely forgot i brought my gopro with me until the last day when we were packing up and i asked him i was like hey you want to get back out there and uh shoot a couple footage so people see what we were doing he's like yeah sure let's get at it so if you're fishing at this time i know i'm posting the video a little bit later look for those you want to look for those rocky boulder fields we found a little bit of al or uh, seaweed growing up from the bottom and that's where we were really killing them so there's lots of areas all over champlain that are like this so just try them out, see what you're hitting. We were getting them all day long, the small mouth. So just keep grinding and you'll get them. So hope you like the catches. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right at the boat. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice Beauty. Beautiful. I was just thinking about switching to the the crankbait. Well, I guess these are still working. Still working. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, he hit really late. Like I was almost, I was maybe like ten feet off the boat. Yeah, you wrecked that.
Oh yeah? Oh nice, nice, nice. Shown. On the square bill, nice. Oh, I see him. Oh yeah. Right at the boat. <laughs> nice. Nice fish. Right at the boat too. That's crazy. Oh, you whore. Get out of the net at least. There we go. All right. We're I got the one side out. What can I do? Uh, I think. Good. Sure. Hang in there, fish. You are almost there. Woo! Close. That. Nice. Beauty. Very nice. That's what I like. Yeah, it was weird because I thought it was caught up in weeds. So I'm like really like hammering it through the bottom weeds. And then literally like right here, as I can see the bait, just boom, pull bend. Oh, bird's nest. I find if you don't just like, if you like kind of slowly crank through them, they don't, it doesn't dig into the weeds as bad. Yeah, I, yeah, I haven't pulled, like I can feel myself going through them. 
right? Yeah, as long as you're not like, I find if I'm not like ripping, like jerking it through it, they kind of just glide right through. Cause I guess the, the bill goes down and just kind of like shields it. <laughs> 